Hi, this is Susan, and this is a tutorial for WordPress on the settings. The first thing you want to do is, before you even start blogging is make sure that all the settings are set up correctly. So um, the first thing you'll do is go into Settings General and make sure the title, uh, the tag, your title tag, um, which is usually a descriptive um, tag about what your site is about and uh, your address which should be loaded um, when you open this page. Um, you also want to make sure that the time zone is set up for where you are. Uh, UTC-5 is New York City and you can just scroll down here and uh, pick the right time zone for where you are. Next, we're going to look at um, the reading settings. And this is important because um, you want to make sure of how many posts are showing up on your home page um, when someone comes to your site. And the reason that you don't want too many posts is because if you're using Google Analytics, and you want to be able to track what people have read more than other posts um, and there's too many posts on your home page to start with then um, you won't be able to track which one of those posts they're reading so um, I suggest no no more than three or four and then you'll be able to track the Google Analytics on all the other posts Okay, next we're going to go over uh, discussion. Now, discussion is basically um, the area where people, you know, will comment on your posts and pages. And so what you want to make sure is that in this area that you have checked this off, an administrator must always approve the comment. Um, and a comment is held for moderation. And basically what that means is that someone will comment on your blog, but it will not be live to the public. And you will get a notification that someone commented. So you'll be able to go in, read the comment, uh, even edit it if you want. And um, you can determine if you want to approve that comment or not. So that's very important. Okay, next we're going to talk about permalinks. Now, permalinks is very important, okay? Um, when the default is set up, um, every post and page is just set up with a number attached to that post. So, um, think about the search engine optimization problem here. If it's just a number and it's not saying what your post or page is about, uh, no one is ever going to find it. So, I always change it to month and name, which means that it will then display when it was published and the actual name of that post. Now the search engines will be able to find what you're writing about. So this is very important. Okay, next we're going to talk about the all-in-one SEO pack. Now this all-in-one SEO pack is a plugin uh, that you can um, go get in the plugins. You can just add, and we'll go through plugins next. Um, and then once you've activated it, you've en enabled it, basically what happens is you now can um, put in a, a title and a description about what your blog is about. Um, you set it up so that it is um, collecting the information on all your pages and your posts. Um, and so basically we were going to go over the all-in-one SEO and how it affects your um, your posts in the tutorial. That's all for settings.